Hi guys, my name is Anton Humala and with this exciting second issue of my Cine Diary I continue sharing lighting setups from real TV and film sets I've worked on. You can find previous video where I break down the process of shooting extremely low budget commercial here and if you like these videos please don't hesitate to drop a like and subscribe to support my channel and help me produce more content like this in the future. Before we dig into the behind the scenes pictures of lighting setup and break them down, please bear in mind that there are usually many ways to light the same set creatively and the lighting setup I'm sharing with you has been chosen by the DP. It certainly does the job, but what you really should take away from this is to be able to see an example, get the essence of it and play with it in the future or build up if you need to, using it as a basis. Ok, with that in mind, let's get into it. Let's talk today about a TV program I worked on recently. I can only show you screen grabs, but you'll get the idea. The script called for low-key lighting and basically it was a conversation between the host and the guest, followed by three songs performed by guest with two musicians. This is a behind-the-scenes shot of a full set taken with a phone. As you can see, the DP went for one key every Fresnel as a key light for each person, but in order to light the background separately, they gave him mounted two flags on C-stands, one for each key light to cut the light beam and to prevent the light from spilling onto the background. Here we can see tungsten light, which has color temperature of 3200 Kelvin, long fluorescent tubes, which are even warmer, and fluorescent lighting background, which are daylight balanced. Cameras were balanced at 3200 Kelvin, and it's a good example of using lights of different color temperatures effectively and create a nice looking color contrast. The next photo clearly shows this setup. We can see one key array, which is an industry standard name for 1000 watt light with some diffusion to make the light softer and a flag which helps to keep the background dark. Without the flag there would be too much spill from these lights and the shot would not be nearly as effective. That's why it's always very important to use light modifiers, cutters, flags, floppies or simply black cloth when shooting in low key. I'd even say it's more about what you don't light than about what you light in such shots that make them work. Low-key shots are usually more demanding in terms of light modifiers than high-key setups. Keep it in mind and keep your lights under control. Ok, moving on to the background lighting. Let's forget about multicolored LED moving heads which were specifically for song performance section and only added some colored light spots. First we notice magic long fluorescent tubes, which are twice as long as ordinary 4 feet Kinoflow tubes and with filters inside have a much lower color temperature, about 2500 Kelvin. They call them Aurora light and with 3200 Kelvin white balance on cameras, these tubes looked very warm and pleasantly. Second, our background light from daylight balanced fluorescent 4 feet tubes lying on the floor. As you can see, we ended up using only two tubes on each light. Again, tungsten balanced cameras see them bluish and cold as we wanted, and lighting from below adds up to more interesting look. And of course we have 150 watt data light as our backlight, one for guest and another one on the other side for the host. Data lights are known by their aspheric technology, which enables to focus light beam very narrow and it helps this light to effectively work here. Getting back to our first BTS photo, we see the whole lighting setup, which we have broken down and one more data light on a light stand to illuminate logo. So, as you can see, this lighting scheme is pretty straightforward and works well. The one addition I would have added if I were the DP is a bit more diffusion for key lights. In my opinion, it could help to make lighting on faces being more even. 
Okay, if you like this tutorial, make sure to check another issue of Cine Diary, which breaks down the process of shooting a low-budget perfume commercial I did for my reel. And uh, let me ask you guys, what lights would you like uh, to add or subtract from this scheme? Uh, and what is your approach to lighting sets like this? I'd be happy to meet you in comment section below. You've been watching Cine Diary. My name is Anton Humala. Thanks for watching.